decimal numbers in quotients. Say you have 35 cookies that you want to give to four friends so that each friend gets the same number of cookies. So you divide 35 by 4. 4 goes into 35 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32 and the remainder is 3. So your quotient is 8 remainder 3. That means each friend gets 8 cookies and you have 3 cookies left over for you to snack on later. Okay, here's another situation using the same numbers. The animal shelter where you volunteer has a 35 pound bag of dog food and the shelter director needs you to split the food evenly into four containers. You know that 35 divided by four is eight remainder three, so you know to put eight pounds into each container. But then what do you do with the remaining three pounds? You have to split the 35 pounds equally. Well, how do you do that? Luckily, there's a way to figure that out. In unit one, you learned that you can add a decimal point and one or more zeros after a whole number without affecting the value of the number. For example, 35, 35.0, and 35.00 all equal 35 because each of these numbers has three tens, five ones, zero tenths, and zero hundredths. Usually we don't include a decimal point in a whole number, but sometimes it's useful to do so in order to complete a math problem. Back to our dog food problem. Let's start dividing 35 by four. But this time, let's add a decimal point and zero to the dividend. Remember that even though we see a decimal in the dividend, we ignore it as we divide. Just follow the same steps you use in whole number division. Here we can keep dividing by bringing the zero down to make 30. Now what's 30 divided by four? It's seven. Hmm, we still have a remainder of two. So let's add another zero. This one will be in the hundredths place. Remember that we're not changing the value of the dividend when we do this because we're just adding zeros after the decimal point. Now we bring that zero down. Four divides evenly into 20, so there is no remainder and we don't have to add any more zeros. After dividing to the point where there are no more remainders, be sure to put the decimal point in the quotient directly above where it is in the dividend. Don't forget this important step. Now you see that each container should get eight and 75 one hundredths pound of dog food. Of course, you can check your division by multiplying the divisor and the quotient. What's the product of four and eight and 75 one hundredths? You should find it's 35. Let's try another example. The materials for a craft project require 26 inches of ribbon. The first step of the project says to cut the ribbon into eight equal pieces. So how long should each piece of ribbon be? Pause the video and figure out the answer. You need to divide 26 inches into eight equal pieces. Eight goes into 26 three times. Since there's a remainder, add a decimal point and a zero, and then bring down the zero. Eight goes into 20 two times. And since there's still a remainder, add another zero to the dividend and then bring down that zero. Eight goes into 40 five times. There's no remainder, so the only step left is to put the decimal point in the quotient directly above where it is in the dividend. 26 inches of ribbon divided into eight equal pieces equals three and 25 one hundredths inches for each piece.